And now this time we're going to try and find the position of an image in a diverging lens. So this is uh, the same diagram, except for a diverging lens, we have arrow heads pointing inwards to show it's kind of a concave shape like that, right? So the edges are thicker than the middle. So I'm gonna put my, uh, my diverging lens on there, get it as central as I can, and then put my single ray through the lens. Now let's just make sure I've got it straight. So I'm going to put a ray on the principal axis again, like that, and it should come out along the principal axis on the other side, there we go. All right, now I'm going to use the same, whoops, I'll just move that a bit. I'm going to use the same rays as I did for the converging lens, and we're going to see what happens to them. So that's ray number one, goes all the way through the center like that. Ray number two, again, is uh, going to be parallel to the principal axis. So ray number two, parallel, like that. And in it comes, and then it comes out diverging. So this ray is actually heading off in this direction. So let's just draw that. It's coming out there like that. Okay, and it's coming in like, whoops, just moved it a bit, like that. So par oh, sorry, let me just do that again. I've just moved it a little tiny bit there. There we go, that's roughly parallel there. Ah, moved it again. There. So it's coming in like that, and it's going out like that. There we go. So that's um, a, uh, a, a diverging ray parallel to the principal axis. Now, in exactly the same way as the uh, converging lens, let's just let's get that back a minute. So here's the one that we did for a converging lens. A ray that's coming parallel, so that's the same ray number two, goes through the focal point on the other side, right? And the focal point is on the principal axis. Now that's not possible with this ray because it's heading away from the principal axis. So in order to find the focal point, what we do is we take this ray and we bring it back in this direction. Now you have to use a dotted line here because this is a virtual ray. It's not actually um, a real light ray. You can't actually see it because it's not there but this is the continuation of the diverging ray and it goes through the principal axis at that point there. And this again is the principal focus or the focal point. So it's where a diverging ray would have come from and where it hits the principal axis, that is the focal point of this lens, okay? So the focal length of this lens is from here to here. And obviously we can measure that again and we can do one on the, on the other side. So the focal length of this one is about, what's that, 13 centimeters. So we can put that here and we can put another focal point on this side because it's symmetrical. So let's bring our, our, um, our ray back again and let's draw an object again. Now we're gonna draw the object outside the focal point. So let's just pull this back a bit here. Um, there we are. Okay, and I'm gonna put the object about here. So there's my object up there. So this dot here is what we're talking about. So let's pull everything back together. There's our ray, which we haven't quite got the lens in the right position. There we go. Right, now let's find where the image is. So we use this, the same ray again. And if you remember the third ray, it was one that passed through the geometric center of the lens, direct center. So let's do a ray like that, coming again from the object, same position on the object, but this time through the actual center of the lens there. Okay, something like that. So you can see again that this one comes out undeviated. So it kind of looks like that. And then we can pull this back all the way to the object, which is about there. So we wanna continue that ray like that through the center of the lens. Now, oh, I didn't draw that very well. Hang on, let me just redraw that. Okay, there we go. Now, obviously, let me just take that out. These two lenses are never going to meet. And obviously the image is where they meet. So what we have to do is um, use the virtual ray to figure out where they meet. And they actually meet here, look. 
So even though this isn't a real ray, this is a virtual ray, but this is a real ray because we've got one virtual ray crossing our real ray. That's the only point that these are going to meet. They're going to diverge completely in this direction and diverge completely in this direction. So there's only one individual point where they meet. This is where the image is, all right? And this time, it's what we call a virtual image, all right? So the virtual image is formed where the um, continuation of this diverging ray and the incoming or incident ray of the, in this direction where they meet, all right? And now you can see uh, from this situation that the image is virtual because we've got this dotted line is inside the focal point It's on the same side of the lens as the object itself And it's much smaller than the object and it's also upright. It's not inverted Okay, so it's a completely different um, image. So if we compare those two images So the one on the left is from a uh, a diverging lens and the one on the right is from a converging lens. We can see the difference. This one here is um, upright, it's virtual, it's inside the focal point, I'm just going to put FP for focal point, and it's also smaller. And the technical word for that is diminished. Okay, so that's, those are the properties of this image in a diverging lens for an object outside the focal point. With a converging lens, uh, the image is all the way down here and it's almost completely the opposite. So it's, rather than being upright, it's actually inverted. Rather than being virtual, it's actually real. And we know that because these two rays are actual light rays that converge on this point. It's outside the focal point. Um, and it's actually, I don't know whether it's enlarged or whether it's diminished actually, but um, uh, whether it's enlarged or diminished. That depends on the distance of the object from the focal point. Oops, sorry, not FB, that's Facebook, the focal point. Okay, so whether, whether the size of this image, how, how far away from the, um, the actual principal axis it is, depends on the distance between the object and the focal point. So that's a slightly subtle point that we might talk about later and is also in the notes. Okay, so that's the situation and that's how you find the properties of an image in a diverging lens and a comparison of the properties of um, the image in a diverging lens and in a converging lens.